Hey everyone, it's Kristen Van Valkenburg here and today marks a very exciting day. Today is the beginning of the coolest little YouTube advent hop presented by the Facebook group Live Art Journaling and Self-Development. So if you're familiar with the group, a lot of cool ladies in there and they share what they do creatively. More than that, they have a lot of fun events like this one where from today on you just check out the link below and you'll be able to find a video per day for 24 days. These are creative videos from artists all over the world and it's going to be a lot of fun. So today I'm going to start off by keeping ourselves creative, which you know can be difficult, around the holiday season. And that's what we're doing today. I'll explain more, but I hope you enjoy the process. And as always, thanks for coming along. Hey, voiceover Kristen here. I want to share with you a few things that I've been thinking about for this project, namely what the heck it is. I decided to create something small this holiday season. I want to do something creative, but not overwhelming. And so how about inching our way towards the holidays? See what I did there? I have selected a dollar store clipboard to put all of the little inches on that you can do throughout the holiday season. And my inches are one and a half square. So I'm starting by just applying a coat or two of gesso to this purchase clipboard, and we're gonna do it in a haphazard fashion. Just get some white there on the board. There we have it, but we're not done. I wanna take that gesso with some of my very favorite, I love it so much, Bria Reese watercolor in this gorgeous pink. What it will do is it'll give me more of a paint-like texture and consistency, I'm basically just dyeing my gesso. So in the end, it will also be matte, which is what I want for this first layer. Now it's turning out a little bit bolder than I wanted it to. If you watch the channel, you might think that I'm going crazy when I say bolder because I love bold, bright pink, but I want to create something that will serve as a background for all of these little inches. And I want it to be a little bit more subtle. So in lieu of the solid color, I'm adding a little bit of that white gesso to it in a real haphazard fashion. I want to create depth and dimension just by the way I'm placing the paint onto that clipboard. So we're going to continue to do that for a little bit. And when we're done, we're going to add a little bit more. And here's our little bit more. Now I like the background as it is, but you know, we can always add a little something extra, a little bit more depth and dimension. And I'm going to do that by adding this iridescent acrylic paint from Arteza. It's a gorgeous color. It's called Playful Pink. And it really is, it has a color shift to it. So when we pick up our clipboard in the end and move it around, the paint is going to move and shine as well. But not as much as when we add the final piece to our background, which is this gorgeous liquid glitter. This is my all-time favorite art supply on the planet, and I'm just smushing it in with a paintbrush, very technical term, until I have a look that I'm happy with. Our clipboard is done, we'll set her aside to dry, and now we need to create a minimum of 25 little itty bitty squares. Now I'm using a heavy weight, 140 pound, watercolor paper, it'll take a lot of abuse. And as you can see, I'm marking out my inch and a half squares. I'll be creating a grid with the ruler and this pencil, and then I will be cutting them out using either an X-Acto knife or, if yours is completely dull like mine is, the tip of a sharp pair of scissors. Okay, all of our little collage pieces are cut out and our clipboard is dry. So the next step is to take a piece of fine sandpaper and smooth away all of the rough edges. I'll hit the entire surface, I'll cover the edges of the clipboard itself, and in the end, it'll be a lot easier to glue our collage pieces on top of.
And now the real fun begins. We get to make our inchies or our little itty bitty collages. Now, as you can see, I'm doing several at a time, but if you were to do one a day, just to keep the creativity going during the busy holidays, I can't imagine that each little square would take you more than five minutes to complete or longer if you have to fussy cut that's fair but really it's a simple and easy exercise that keeps the mojo going during the busyness of the holidays so because I'm doing several at a time I'm taking this pile this stash that I have and covering each of the squares with something that I have there you can see music sheets I have a lot of handmade painted papers I have glitter remnants all kinds of stuff that there you see them all come together. The first thing I'm gonna do is start to embellish them. Now this is another favorite art supply. It's a jelly roll pen in Stardust. It's a glittering gel ink. So it'll add depth and dimension, but it won't add color. Now that we've added a little glittering ink to several of our squares, we're going to do the same with other gel pens. We're starting off with a bright white gel pen. You'll also see me use a neon yellow and even a glittering gel ink that's blue. But I'm simply taking some of the squares that start off kind of plain, like this purple one here, and dressing them up a bit with doodling and mark making. Now that our inchies are all marked up, the next step is to add an additional layer with washi tape. So you'll see me pull out some washi tapes and adding bits and pieces here or there, including a holiday themed washi tape from Mindy Lacefield. You'll see that coming up. Now that we have a couple of layers down on our inchies, it's time to search for focal images. And I'm using a digital collage sheet from an Etsy shop called My Porch Prints. I'll absolutely link it below. It's an instant download, so you print it out at home and you can start working with them right away. I love that they're elegant, they're feminine, they're Victorian, and a lot of them are really small, which helps when you're working with a small surface. So I'm gonna cut the ones I want. We'll fussy cut them as you see there. And and then we get to play. We get out the glue stick, we start auditioning pieces to their backgrounds and take it from there.
okay. Our inchies are coming together and I have focal images on the majority of them. But I've reserved a few squares for different treatments, including the addition of these numbered stickers. Of course, mine are glittered, but yours don't have to be. But since this is Advent inspired, I thought the number stickers would be appropriate. So I'm adding those to some of the squares and then I will move on to using some handmade paper trim, and also some fabric scraps to some of these inches. The layers are really building, aren't they? If we recall, we have used background papers, we've done mark making and doodling, we've added washi tape, focal images, letter stickers, fabric scraps, and some handmade paper trim that was created by my friend and artist Robin Donnelly. But what we haven't used yet are those final, final touches, including these hand-punched confetti. I simply used a hole punch and some of my painted papers for those, and some more last minute touches to add some shimmer and shine. You'll see that we'll work with some no shed fabric glitter as well as a couple of Swarovski crystals. And this, what we're seeing here is simply the addition of more glittering gel ink around the edges of each of these focal images. This will show up a lot better at the end when you see it in good light, but it really does make a difference. It bridges that gap between the image and the background and really blends the two together. And here we are, all 25 pieces ready for their close-up and ready for the clipboard which will come next.
Now the last thing to do is simply arrange our inches onto the clipboard. And when I'm looking at placement, I'm looking at a variety of things. I want to see a variety throughout the entire clipboard of images, colors, textures, and most importantly on this advent inspired piece, that the number stickers are going in the right place. Then I simply glue them all down. But I want to mention, if it looks as if I eyeballed everything perfectly, Please know I didn't. I used a ruler to make sure that everything was spaced accordingly. And now to tie it all up in a bow. And I'm doing just that with some satin ribbon that I will pull up so that I have a place to hang our holiday advent inspired clipboard. Thanks for joining me on this day one of what I promise will be an incredible 24 days of Advent videos for you to open simply by going to the Facebook group Live Art Journaling and Self Development. Again, I will link it below. You've got to check it out and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time. Until next time, happy holidays.